Okay, so I appreciate you coming in for this interview. We have a pair of professional position at our school. Some people call it teacher's aide. Some call it support staff. Um, but we're very excited to be able to interview for this position. I'd like to start out by asking you why it is you'd like to be a paraprofessional at our school. You think it's going to be easy because you're not actually a teacher, so it's not going to be a hard job. Well, let me go ahead and stop you right there. I do appreciate the air quotes around teacher. Um, our paraprofessionals are like the french fries in a Happy Meal. Um, you may think they're not as important as the hamburger, but they're just as important. Our paraprofessionals teach kids, give intervention, monitor kids, uh, monitor the cafeteria, do bus duty, do car ride line, uh, line duty. Um, they make copies. They support the teachers. They do pretty much everything. This job is anything um, but easy. So I do appreciate you coming in for this interview. Maybe you can use that um, uh, information for the next interview you have because we're going to go ahead and stop this interview. Appreciate you coming in. That is a true story. I've actually had that person interview at our school and say that um, paraprofessionals are not teachers, and she actually used an air quote, and to me that is ridiculous. Um, our paraprofessionals, our teaching assistants, our support staff are the backbone of our schools. We could not run our schools without our paraprofessionals. I hope that if you are a certified teacher, um, uh, if you are not a paraprofessional, that you are treating them that way. I'm always amazed when someone will message me and say, um, that's a paraprofessional, and they'll say, can you make a paraprofessional shirt? Because I don't think I should be wearing one that says educator. Paraprofessionals, you are educators, you are teachers. We can't do our jobs without you. And no matter what your position is, um, you are extremely important in our schools. So we're celebrating those. Um, if you follow me, you know that once a month, um, I use my STARS money and give it to a group of people at school. STARS money is when someone sends me a star on Facebook, I get one penny. Um, so if someone sends me 100 stars, um, then I get a dollar. Um, and so I'm compiling that all together, then using a little bit of other money from an ad or something, and then giving at that out to those people. So we are celebrating paraprofessionals, teaching assistants, support staff this month. And so I've combined my STARS money along with um, of $300 from um, a vitamin ad that I'm getting ready to throw up a picture of. And um, I've come up with um, a $625 that I'm going to give out to 25 paraprofessionals. Um, that's right. I'm going to send a $20 bill and a $5 bill in the mail to 25 paraprofessionals. Now somebody's going to say, don't send money through the mail. Stay in your own lane. Um, and why why do I send money? Because some people don't have Walmart or Target. If I send you a Target card, you don't have any way to do that. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to randomly pick 25 paraprofessionals from the comments in this video, and I'm going to have them uh, message me with their address, and I'm going to send them $25 just so they can go out to dinner or do something fun because we appreciate you. So here's how you're going to nominate um, a paraprofessional. you got to do two things. Um, in the comments, you just nominate one person, say what they do, and say why you love them. So I'm going to tell you who I'm going to nominate. She's already going to get $25. So I would put in there, I nominate Carla Soper from Liberty Elementary School. She's a kindergarten para. Carla goes above and beyond. She is always at school. She absolutely loves those kids, and she builds strong relationships with them. Now, here's the deal. I'm only choosing 25 um, paras, but any para that you nominate is going to read what you think about them, as well as a million other educators. So I hope that Carla appreciates the fact that I love her and I've nominated her. And so your para may not get um, uh, um, uh, chosen. However, they are going to see that you appreciate them by the fact that you've nominated them and you've said something great about them. Second, I would love for you to tag some of your colleagues in a second comment so that they can see and they can nominate because we want to nominate um, as many and celebrate as many paras as we absolutely can. We call them paras. Um, uh, could be teacher's assistant, support staff. So I want to let you know if that you, that's one of you. If you're a para, support staff, um, a teaching assistant. We cannot do our jobs without you. I apologize if anybody has ever made you feel less um, uh, as um, you, in your position because you are a teacher, you are administrator, you are a counselor. You do all those things and we love you to death. We could not do our jobs without you. And lastly, I want to remind you that whenever I put up something where someone's going to win something, immediately someone uses my photos and they make a fake account, and they message you on here and say, you're a winner, or they message you and have a friend request. Um, uh, those are scammers. They're trying to make money, and when you message them back, they're going to say, you win, put your credit card in here. I've said 19 times, I will never ask you for your credit card on Facebook. And so um, uh, report those people as scammers and do not give anybody your credit card. So let me tell you again, 
paras, teachers assistants, support staff, we absolutely love you. Thank you for your dedication and your hard work, and we are celebrating you. Teachers and other people at schools, nominate a para. Nominate three or four paras. You can nominate as many as you want to, because again, you are celebrating them even if they aren't one of the 25. So put their name in there, what school they work at. You don't have to do that if your school's going to be mad, um, and, and put why it is that you love them. And then tag some other colleagues so that we can get as many paras um, uh, um, celebrated here, and read those comments, because I absolutely think they're amazing. So we're sending out $25 to 25 paras. Nominate them in here on Friday we will announce the winner. So on Friday, I will put up a big picture that'll say winners, and then I will list those winners in the comments. That's how I announce a winner, not personally messaging you. So check back on Friday at five o'clock. Those people will be announced. And as always, if you've won something and you've not gotten it, message me back. Sometimes message me messages get mixed up. So love you, paras. We appreciate you. Nominate your favorite para. Tag your colleagues. Look for the winners on Friday and have a great week.